Everybody, how's it going? It's Ross, and it's time to look at some diamond paintings from Timu. This is two big bags of diamond painting stuff that Timu has sent to me. Um, I've worked with them in the past on a yarn video, and they wanted to want to do another one, so I picked out diamond painting stuff for this video. So thank you, Timu, for sending this to me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I love Timu and I love diamond painting. It's my other craft. If I'm not using something with yarn, then I'm probably diamond painting or I'm sleeping or I'm at work. Those are, that's pretty much my life is. I'm either working, sleeping, knitting, crocheting, or diamond painting. That's what I love to do. And I picked out a bunch of different things. A lot of this stuff I've ordered similar things myself in the past from Timu. So I just kind of picked out some different styles and then also a couple of things I haven't seen before, haven't tried before. So I was like, oh, let's grab that as well. So all kinds of stuff here. So if you're into diamond painting, you definitely want to check out this video. If you're not familiar with Timu, you need to check it out. They have all kinds of stuff at really, really great prices. The quality is great. Just about anything, everything you can think of, you can find over on Timu. I get diamond paints from Timu. I get craft stuff from Timu. This shirt actually came from Timu. I got this, um, a few months ago I ordered it. It's a just a like a light flannel shirt that's got a hoodie. So if I want to throw something on in the house, it's kind of like when there's a slight chill, I just throw this on and I love it. So I love Timu. I just actually recently placed an order a couple days ago of a bunch of sweaters from Timu that should probably be here in a week or so because it's getting chilly here in Wisconsin. So I wanted to add some sweaters to my wardrobe so those will be here soon but yeah i love timu and like i said great prices quality is excellent all kinds of stuff um always there's sales going on coupons promotions um lots of times there's stuff up to 90 percent off so uh, lots of good deals and the best thing is free shipping which you can't beat that and it's pretty quick shipping I know when I get most of my stuff, it's usually within a week or two weeks of ordering it. And if you ever need to do a return, so they got free returns for up to 90 days. I haven't run into that situation yet, so hopefully it stays that way, but that is there. Um, also, if you don't have the Timu app and you want to get it, definitely get it. Um, you can use the link down below. Also, if you go to the Timu website and search the code, uh, where's my code at? I just had it here in front of me. Ah! Um, the code DKH4243. You'll see the items here, a link to download the app. Also, $100 in coupons you can use to make purchases on Timu. So, love it, love it, love it. And thank you, Timu, for sending this stuff to me. And let's get looking at some diamond paintings. I'm just getting everything pulled up here because there's quite a few different things here I picked out. Like I said, some of the stuff I've ordered before in different styles other stuff I haven't tried like this style but I can't wait to give it a shot and see what it's like um, again that code if you want to see these items all on one page DKH4243 is what you want to search on Timu and you'll get this stuff so where do we begin let's just dig into this first bag here and see what's here so First thing off the top is something I've never done before, but I want to try out. And that is sealing my diamond paintings. Um, I've been doing diamond paintings for about, I think, six years now. And I've never sealed them before. I see people do that. Um, and it's like, eh, maybe we should try that one these days. So I ordered this here. It came in a little set. It's a bottle of diamond painting sealer. You go, diamond painting sealer this is let's see portable bottle rapid curing permanent protection stay shiny multi-purpose non-toxic and safe um, waterproof and anti-fouling so this is two ounces um, let's see here it's got just kind of like little instructions there on the side so we'll see here it says Place the puzzle, oh, shows here, you can also use it for a puzzle. It says, place the puzzle on horizontal desktop. Apply glue to the front of the puzzle. Use the attached brush to tool to evenly smear the glue on the painting. Let stand for one hour. The exact time depends on the thickness of each layer of coating. It says, curing time, it needs at least two hours for fully curable. 
Specific time depends on the thickness of each layer. It will be lighter and glossier when the glue is completely dry. So, give that a shot on some of my diamond paintings and see how that turns out. But it has this two ounce bottle, and then you have this brush, and the current price as of September 4, I, wow, I just, it's 9.14 a.m., so I was going to say September 14th, but it's 10.28, it's October 28th is when I'm recording this, so the price as of October 28th when I'm doing this is $2.86 for this little set, and this cap just twists off, and then you just peel this off, and then, ah. And then this just pops off and there's like a sponge and they'll come out from that. Let's see, let's, let's try this again. So, so there's like a sponge top there and there's a little hole in the center. So you can kind of use that to smear it around. You can also use the brush then to brush it out. So, diamond painting sealer. We'll see what this is like. I've always seen people seal theirs, like, I've never really had a need to seal it, but I'm going to give it a try and see if it's something that I need to do for mine. So, got that. Try to get this set up neatly so it's not a big old mess I make. So, what else do we have? So, we'll look at some canvases first. Because, um, like I said, I got stuff that is traditional dime painting canvas, and then I got off the canvas stuff, different projects. So let's just go across this list. So first up is this painting here. And I am a smaller size diamond painting person. I don't really care for the larger sizes. So it's probably about the biggest I usually go with diamond paintings if I do something like this. This is a 30 by 40. And, and that's in centimeters, if you're not familiar with diamond painting. So here, there we go without the gloss. So it is like a Christmas scene. You got a train engine and Santa Claus stepping out of the train in a little snow at nighttime. So I thought that was pretty cool. I like the picture. This is $3.98. $3.98. $4. We'll just say for this. $3.98. For a 30 by 40, um, it has a key up here. Wow. So you'll see numbers 1 through 20, and those reference the number on your diamond pieces on the bags that they're in. And then you have letters here, and that correlates to the canvas so it's kind of like a paint by number so wherever you see the symbol C that's bag number one of your diamond pieces so you'll go and find the C on the canvas and put those diamond pieces there to fill it in and the canvas is got an adhesive on it so it's already sticky that's what this plastic cover is protecting is that stickiness and those diamond pieces just stick right to it so a little diamond painting 101 if you've never diamond painted before. I highly recommend it. I thoroughly enjoy it. Like I said, I've been doing this for about six years now. It is so relaxing. It's so much fun. I just love to sit and diamond paint. So every diamond painting comes with what they call like a basic toolkit. And that's going to have a tray to put your diamond pieces in. A little square of wax. And what this does is you use this wax to put in the tip of this pen here. And then you use that pen to pick up your diamond pieces and stick it onto your canvas. So this is kind of like your paintbrush. It feels like a paint by number. And then these are the diamond pieces. So this is, they come in different shapes, either a round or square. They're usually the two shapes that you'll choose from. And lots of times I'll go for round. Um, that's just my preference. I also do enjoy squares from time to time. Squares take a little bit more time, you gotta be more precise, but I feel like in the end, squares have a little bit more um, um, better clarity and look a little bit better, but I still love to look around. So, and then you see here, 
you have like that 15, uh, 14. That is the number on the canvas that you look for. So the number 15 here, I look on my canvas here, 15, and that's gonna be color X here. So 15 is X, so then you find X on your canvas and you put that there. So that's how it works. Um, I'm not gonna go through each individual color and show you, but this is how they come packaged. So for $3.98, it's a great price. And I like the pictures. So obviously the actual picture that they show is a lot more detail, but with diamond painting, you don't have all the details, but you still get the idea of what the picture is going to be. And that's what I really enjoy. Just high, seeing how the picture kind of like pixelates once it's completed. So we got that picture there. Up next, we have another canvas. I picked out, I think, four canvases. So, and I got a 30 by 40 I just showed you. I got two 30 by 30s, and then I have a 20 by 20. So, this 30 by 30 is full of color, which I love. And this is $2.32 right now. I mean, the prices for diamond paintings on Timu are just, I love it. So it's a very, it can be a very expensive craft. It can be a very affordable craft. It depends on how you want to do it. I like to go with a very, very affordable side, but then I order a lot of them. So then it becomes expensive. It, that's me. Um, but I love this cat picture with all these bright colors. So there's that. So this one has uh, our little key in two spots up here in the corner and then down here in the corner. So if you're working down here, you can look over that side and work on it. If you're working up here, you can just look over here and see it. But this has 20 different colors as well. This also includes the DMC number of the colors. So if you're someone that uses the DMC numbers for colors and if you save them to use later, I'm not that kind of person, um, you have that information. But I love all the colors in this cat. I think it's going to look great when it's finished. Um, the key to um, picking out pictures for diamond paintings is you got to kind of keep in mind when you pick something out that you're not going to have a lot of detail in your finished picture unless you do a really, really large picture. So like this 30 by 30, um, for something like this where the main subject of the picture is so large right front and center, so then it's still going to look good, but if there was a lot of stuff going on in the picture, you're going to lose a lot of details, and once it's finished, it's going to look kind of like blobs of colors. But I think this size right here is perfect for this picture here. I love that. And then again, you got your toolkit, and then here are our diamond pieces. These are just solid round ones. $2.32 can't beat that price. There's that one. And then we'll go with this one here. This one there's a few there's a few different styles to choose from in this listing. I went with this one because it's a cow. <laughs> and it's so cute. And it is only $1.04. 104 for this little teeny cow picture. Look at that. Look at that little fella. So, you see there, it's a 20 by 20 centimeter. And when they do the measurements, it's for the entire canvas. So actually, this usually ends up being like 15 by 15, or roughly like 6 inches by 6 inches. So a nice small little picture. And I think this one, again, is the cow is pretty much the main focus, large in the middle. And then kind of like a not very busy background. So I think this will look fine in the small size. So you got to keep that in mind when you're doing a picture. Because there's lots of times you see a really cool picture. But it's like there's way too much detail for that small size. That that's not going to turn out. So you got to keep that in mind when you're picking out stuff. That kind of get something where your main focus is large in front and the center. But we have that. This has 15 colors. Again, this one also includes your DMC numbers. And we got the key up at the top and in the bottom. So, it's a fun little picture, toolkit, and then our diamond pieces here. These are just your standard round, solid color. And 
some diamond paintings come with rhinestone cell diamond pieces, which I'll show you in some of the other stuff I picked out. But these canvases, I think, all have just the standard ones. So we're going to, I got one more to show you in canvas style. This was, this one here is $3.48. Great price. So let's check it out. So it is a bird with all different colors of feathers. It is a 30 by 30. This has 20 colors. And the canvas looks excellent. The print and everything looks really good. So I think this one also you know, the bird is the main focus. It's right in the center. It's large. I think that's going to look great. We have all different colors for the wings. So it's going to look really cool once finished. And it's got just like a black background that you'll diamond paint as well. So um, these also are what you might feel, hear people call a full canvas because you do the entire canvas. So something, sometimes what they call a partial where like the background will be printed. You only do like a certain subject on the painting. But this is a full drill, what they call full drill, full drill instead of partial drill. Drill is another term they use for the diamond pieces. Um, call them whatever you want. There's no right or wrong thing to call them. But I love that picture. Again, here's our toolkit and then our diamond pieces. We have that there. So those are my canvases that I picked out. Everything else now will be kind of like what they call like off the canvas and different kinds of projects. So where do we begin? Let's go here. Give me a sip of coffee. All right, so this here is five dollars and 47 cents right now and it's this little wooden snowman that says happy holidays i love it i've done similar diamond paintings like this in the past and i really enjoy it because it is on plywood this is wood here to the back side there is the thickness of it and it's really cool because it's Right here, it's on one side, and you have this base with a slot in it, and there's this little slot here, or a little um, wedge here at the bottom that it just sits in here, like so. I'm going to put it on a flat surface and push it in. So there. Then you have this little standing decoration ornament that you can display wherever you want. So you can put it on a table, on like a shelf, bookcase, wherever you can sit it. And you have a little decoration that says happy holidays. Oh, fun little snowman. So you just peel off the plastic covering. Let's see if I can get it peel up. There we go. And it's tacky on this side. Love it, love it, love it. And let me measure this real quick to see how the size on it. So it is approximately, let's see if I can show this to you so you can easily see it. It's about eight inches tall. Come on. It's kind of hard to measure and show there, but it's about eight inches tall and at the widest point, it's about six inches, ac six inches across. So a good little size painting that I love so much. These are so much fun to do. Yeah, five dollars and forty-seven cents for this little guy. And this one comes with again your toolkit and then your diamond pieces. And these have different sizes, and these are also what they call like rhinestone style on some of them. So it looks like extra rhinestones. And then we got the solid white for the snowman's body. Um, this will be fun to do. A good quick project to work on. 
I'll show you. So, Oop. get this back in the bag so I don't lose everything. So now let's look at another similar one. Instead of being a snowman, it is a basket of greenery with a couple of cardinals, which I love cardinals. So this is also, or actually this one is $5.98, so a little bit more than the snowman right now. Um, but again, you have your piece right here that you'll diamond paint on this side, the back side, just plain wood. There's that. So a nice thick wood too with that. So it's peace, love, joy. You got a cardinal down there, the basket, all kinds of different greenery in the basket, then the cardinal up at the top. Our base, so we set it in there. And then boom, so we can display it wherever we want. I love this one so much. Like I said, I love cardinals. I've got so many cardinal diamond paintings I picked up recently that I'll be working with cardinals forever. Um, our little tool kit and then our diamond painting pieces. And that looks like these are all rhinestone. And then we look at here, if you see, uh, how can I? we have star shaped ones, which those will go on here. Which I'm so excited for. So number six is the star shape. They look on the bag here. Number six is our star shape. So cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Five dollars and ninety eight cents right now for that. Try to get back in the bag as easily as I can. That being so difficult. Okay. That one. Okay. So now we have this white padded envelope. Inside here is a kind of like a sun catcher style diamond painting. It's not a true sun catcher because it's printed on there, so it's not going to let a lot of light through, but some light does come through. I have a couple similar of these hanging in my windows in my living room, and they're fun to do. So this is plastic, like a nice thick acrylic. Um, we got two little holes up here to hang this, and it comes with the chain and what you need. But here we have some butterflies on some flowers, and this one looks like we diamond paint everywhere. Because some of these I have where you don't diamond paint the background, you just kind of like do the full, the main subject and like maybe the border, but this one, we diamond paint everywhere. And you can see here, like the A and the B are gonna have some, some different shaped diamond pieces compared to the rest. So there's that. This right now is $7.98. And let me measure that. It is 10 inches tall by Seven and a half inches across. And then this has, um, we have a lot of black diamond pieces, and that's just gonna be the solid. And then the rest are, looks like the rhinestone style. So it's gonna be sparkly. You can see there, kind of hiding some of the larger ones. I'm guessing that is B to go in the flower. So we got that, and then we have our tool kit, and then we have the chain to hang the diamond painting. So, you now the back side of this is plain. Sometimes still the front side will be printed on the back side as well, so it'll be like two sided. Um, and sometimes you'll diamond paint both sides, sometimes you diamond paint one side. This one you just diamond paint the one side, and the back side is blank. What is next? Next here, uh, let's do this. I've had my eyes on these for a while, but never ordered one till it's like, let's get one now. 
So you can tell by its little picture here on the box, it is a Christmas tree. Let me pause this real quick before I run out of time. So let's take a look at the tree. So we have all of our diamond pieces here. And almost all of them are rhinestone. I do see some solid like yellow in there. It looks like that yellow one has like a, a shiny coating on it. Yeah. There's that pieces there. And then Toolkit, our base, ah, almost dropped it. And then we have these, so it's got two pieces that you will, once it's been diamond painted, you will slide it together like so. Come on. I guess it'll, it'll go to get these also when there's no clear plastic on it. So once it's been finished, there we go. So then you have kind of like almost a 3D Christmas tree. You can look at it from all the different sides and they'll have diamond paintings on it. I love this. I've been, I've had my eyes on these for a while and then I finally decided to let's get one of these here. Um, I don't remember if I told you the price. This is $11.47. It's about, let's see the height on this. It is approximately seven and a half inches tall by about six inches across, right? Maybe five, five and a half, six, depending on where you measure from. So, fun little thing. And then you just set it in the base here. So it's kind of like those other ones I showed you that have the stand that just stand up, but then you can display your Christmas tree. Almost had a Christmas tree tip over. Um, yeah, so if you want a fun little Christmas tree, don't want to do the big full size one. You can always do a little diamond painting one and have that for your decoration. I might do that this year. I, I haven't decided if I'm going to put my tree up or not yet this year. It's kind of like when you're on your own, like I am. It's kind of like, there's really, it's like, uh, that's a lot of work for, I don't know. Some years I put it up, sometimes I don't. But that is this diamond painting here. It's at $11.47 for this. Now let's look at some coasters. So that's what comes in these boxes here. I got a few of these boxes. So let's look at this first one. This is an eight piece set. Comes with our diamond pieces. And then our toolkit. And then we have our little coaster stand and our coasters. So these are wood, so these don't have the cork back. Um, most of my experience buying all these little coasters is if it's plastic, then it usually has a cork backing that you attach to it. And the wood ones usually don't come with the cork back. Um, so, and then we just have these little snowman pictures. I love these little coasters. Um, they're usually about four inches across. And to me, they're kind of like little mini diamond paintings. So we have this snowman here with the Santa and his reindeer up above. We got just this little happy snowman chilling on the hillside. We got this snowman skiing down the hill. Another happy little snowman with his top hat and scarf. This snowman has a Christmas tree. And then this snowman is just chilling there. He's just a happy little guy. And then we got this snowman here. And finally, this is the last one. So $9.97 for eight pack, which I think is a great price. Just over a dollar for a little diamond painting picture. For me, it's about two to three hours to do one of these little pictures, give or take, depending on what else I have going on. But I love doing these little coasters. So I got this set of snowmen. Try to get this back in the box with everything. My 
coffee is getting cool. Let me pull out my coffee warmer and get that going. Okay. What's next? What's in the box? Let's find out. This one's taped shut. Okay, perfect example. I just mentioned how the wood ones don't come with the cork and the plastic ones do. We got some plastic ones. So here is our tray and tool. Our diamond pieces. All here, we got some red and green and gold, and all the colors. And then we have our coaster stand or holder. Here we have our little package of cork, and these are self adhesive, so I peel off that backing and it sticks to the back of the coaster. And then here are the coasters themselves. So I guess here they are plastic this time. And these are all cardinals, my favorites. Um, and these are 1098 for the set. And there's, uh, I think, eight of them. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. So we have this cardinal here sitting on the branch in the trees. And then we got another cardinal just chilling. We have a pair of cardinals. And then we have another cardinal on his own. Another single cardinal. A lot of single guy cardinals here. There we go. A couple more. Just chilling on the branches. And then finally right here we got another pair of cardinals. So that set, like I said, that is 1098 for the set. Alright. I think this is the last set of cultures I have. Let me check. Yeah. What is this set? Oh, these are fun cutout ones. Yay! So I got wood ones that are round, plastic ones that are round, and then these are plastic ones that are cut out in shapes. So this one has our toolkit with some baggies. We have our diamond pieces, and we only have three colors. <laughs> So we have two bags of one, two bags of number one, so you can see number one, uh, number one, we got bag of number two and a bag of number three, and the color, so one is this dark blue color, uh, two is like a light blue color, and then three is like a white silver color. Any idea what the coasters are going to look like based on those colors? And then we have our different pieces of cork in different shapes. The matches the shape of the coaster. And these are snowflakes in different styles. It's an 8-pack for $9.48. These are plastic. So you got this snowflake here. And also comes with the holder. Oops. Where'd that go? There it is. Okay, so take that one. And then we have this one here. Got this snowflake. And this snowflake. And if you didn't want to use these coasters, you could definitely turn them into ornaments or magnets or whatever you want and use them as that as well so I look at them as their little mini diamond paintings little projects to do there's that one got this one here 
And then here is the last one. Love these. So we have those. Yay! Just back in the box. I'm not gonna worry about the plastic bag. Okay, so that's that first bag. We're on to the second bag now. And we'll go this here. The box is a little beat up, but what's inside is okay. I already checked when I got it. Here's like, oh, hopefully that's okay inside, and it is. But this is a plastic tumbler that you diamond paint. And this is $8.97 right now. Let me take it out of the package. So we have, again, our toolkit. Like I said, every diamond painting comes with this toolkit. So I've got quite a few of those from over the years. And then here are our diamond painting pieces, drills, diamonds, gems, beads, whatever you want to call them, in this package here. And then we have the tumbler itself. So there's the top. That slides open and close. That just pops off. And then you will twist this off. And this comes out and you have this. And then you will actually diamond paint this right here. So I got the Santa Claus that says ho, ho, ho. With the red like gingham check background. I think that's the right pattern term. Um, and then once it's diamond painted, you just put it around here, like so, and then put it inside. So then you have a cup with diamond paintings. So I thought those were pretty cool. I picked up a few of these in the past with different patterns, and when I saw the Santa Claus, I was like, I want to get that one for Christmas time. So I did. And just throw those in here. Throw that on there, and we have all every everything in one. So. But I love that so much. And $8.97. I think it's a pretty good price for that. And you got a functional diamond painting project you can use. I like to do the stuff where I can like show off my diamond paintings in different things besides just a picture that you hang up on the wall or whatever. So I got that. What else do we have here? more things. We'll save this one for last. Okay, these next three things are all similar style and they're called diamond painting lamps. New experience. Saw these and I thought they looked pretty cool. Let's do this one first. Let's see what it's like. I've never done anything like this. So I'm not sure what they're like, but we'll find out. So we have two pieces. One you don't diamond paint. I'm guessing this would be like the back side. And then one you do diamond paint right here. You see it says Merry Christmas. It's got a Santa and a snowman. And it's kind of like a see-through material. So like it's printed so it's kind of opaque instead of being solid. And then we have our toolkit. And then we have our bag of diamond pieces, and these come in little, their own little Ziploc bags instead of um, other kind of bags. So sometimes you get diamond paintings where the package like this, other times you get them like how I showed you before, where they're kind of like a strip all connected. So it all depends on how they package them. So this one comes in these little baggies. Um, I got this thing here, which I'm assuming this has a suction cup. It's also got a button. So this is what turns the light on and off. And then you got a cord here. And then this thing here is all these little spacers with these screws and a screwdriver. So you will 
put the spacers between the two things and then it'll hang. And then you run the lights on this between it. Which, there are no instructions, so it's something that I have to figure out how to do this. Um, also, it uses looks like three AAA batteries. Yeah. So you use three AAA batteries, you'll need to light this up. And that just slides open and close or slides open and close there. And then yeah. Kind of unwind this. So then you have these LEDs, which I will Maybe I'll do a video doing one of these and kind of put it together. We can see how it looks. That might be kind of fun to do. But you have this like strand with all these like LEDs throughout. So I'm guessing you kind of wrap around those spacers and stuff. I don't, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but I thought it looked kind of cool. This was ten dollars and forty-eight cents. This will be a fun project to figure out. Get everything back in the box there. So I grabbed that one that says Merry Christmas. Then I have this one here that is Santa in a sleigh. So I'll just take out the diamond painting piece here. So this one here has, you know. Santa and his reindeer. Here's like the backside piece, and here is then the piece that you diamond paint. So you'll diamond paint the reindeer and Santa and his sleigh. And then it has you know, all your tools to put together with your diamond pieces, the toolkit to diamond paint with, and then the suction cup button thing with the lights. So, so we got that one, and that one was also $10.48. And then I picked up one more of those things. And this is a gnome. So. And I'll just take out just the gnome part itself. So this one is more solid printed where the other one was they were kind of opaque this one you can't see through so here's the one that you don't diamond paint it's kind of like the backside one then here's the one you do diamond paint so here's kind of the idea so like if you ever hang it in the window i'd just say i'd put this one facing inside so i can look at it when i look out the window and this would be on the other side so you don't really see this would be like the back side so this one you diamond paint all on here looks like we got some special shape for in his wreath and all the other stuff that the other ones have are in here as well. So that's pretty cool. Put those together and see what it's like. Then I got one last thing. Finally, we made it to the end. If you sat through this whole thing, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And again, thank you, Timu, for sending this to me. This, I think, was pretty cool. I don't want to lose those. Those are one of the parts to one of those light-up things. I think it was the Merry Christmas one, the first one. Okay, comes in a box like this, and it is a wooden box that you assemble, you diamond paint, and then assemble. It's like a little storage box. This is also ten dollars and forty-eight cents. So this one has our toolkit, and then we have our diamond pieces rhinestone style for this one love that and then here are the pieces for the box so oh nice so this i guess would be the top because it has like this little um extra layer this will kind of like sit in and kind of keep it in place i love that design it's gonna look really cool I'm going to have a hard time picking out the first project I work on because I like all this stuff. Um, this is really cool. And it's nice thick wood. So, 
not bad for $10.48. You just peel this off, do your diamond painting. Like so, a little sticky. And it's only sticky where you place your diamond pieces. Um, so like where there's nothing to diamond paint, it's not sticky. It's only sticky there, not there. So, so if, if you were wondering, so we got, there's the top. Here's the bottom is just plain. And then you have all these like cutouts. So then your side pieces will slide into each of those cutouts there. And there's the side pieces. So let's kind of assemble this real quick. Actually. See if I can figure this out real quick on my own. And this one was, I want to wait till it's diamond painted, I think. Oh, no, we got it there. Ah, go in there. Again, it's probably easier without all the plastic on there to where it's sticky. Also, if I do it on the flat surface, this would be easier. So much easier to do it that way than trying to do it on my lap. Okay, then this piece will go. And that piece is upside down. Now that piece is upside down. Wow, I am just like all over the place. So I cannot get this figured out. There we go. And I would diamond paint it first before you assemble it. I'm just kind of doing it real quick to show you here on camera how it would go together. That goes in there. And that goes like this. Uh. Just to save time, I'm not gonna do it all the way, but you know, it's on top there, so I gotta push the bottom pieces in more, but you get the idea. So it's just this nice little like box that's diamond painted, and the dimensions on the box it is gonna be uh, eight inches by uh, like five and three quarters inches. Then your inside spot. Is going to be about five and a quarter inches by seven and a quarter inches and it is approximately what's the depth on this about inch and a half deep so a fun little box that's really cool I really really like that one definitely that one's in the lead for like my favorite thing from all this stuff but I love all of it, so it's hard to pick out one favorite, but if you have a favorite you like, uh, click on that link down below to go see everything here. Search the code DKH4243. Um, get the $100 coupon bundle with that code and go order some diamond paintings from Timu or anything else from Timu. Like I said, like this shirt here I'm wearing came from Timu. I got it a few months ago. I don't have any idea if it's still available, um, but... That is everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Timu, for sending this to me. And thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you all again soon.